Choosing the maritime profession might or might not be for you. Hi, it's nice joy seeing you. If you are planning to venture into BSMT if you want to be a captain or BSRE if you want to be a chief engineer on board ship, you can choose to listen to what a maritime student is currently experiencing. But quick disclaimer, everything that we are about to say here is based on our own views and opinions and is no way related to the views and opinions of the school, the organization, or the company that we are affiliated with. Of course, I'm very much pleased to have a guest for this content, and that is Valerie Taklan, who is also a third year student and is a friend of mine, but is taking Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering to give us a clear understanding based on her experiences as a MARE student. So hi, I am Engine Cadet Taklan, and it's such a joy to be part of this video and to have a little chit chat about our course. So, without further ado, let's proceed. BSMT or Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation is a degree program that allows you to be a deck officer if you want to be a captain on board ship and maneuver it, of course. But you cannot have a degree in this program unless you comply with those requirements that are needed like the education and the training. Depending upon the school that you are in, there's this 3-1 and then 2-1-1. 3-1 means 3 years academics and 1 year apprenticeship. And then the 2-1-1 means 2 years academics and then 1 year you go on board ship and then you go back to your school and complete the last year of the academic requirements. That same goes for the BSMRE, but let's focus on the BSMP. Once you have completed this degree, you can choose to be a merchant marine officer, a deck officer. Yes, and then you can also be part of the government like being a Navy or a Coast Guard. You can also be an instructor under the maritime education and training or you can also be part of the maritime industry such as in the ship survey and inspection, ship management and such. So that's it. On the other hand, Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering is the basic educational requirement needed to become an engine officer. If you are able to complete all the necessary trainings needed, you can become a chief engineer which is the highest position in the engine department on board ship. And if you plan to explore more about your career, being a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering can give you a vast career opportunities ahead of you. You can either be part of the Navy, offshore fleets, maritime offices and such as per mentioned by Miss Joyce and Nico. And also, let me put an emphasis to this, so lend me your ears. You can use your knowledge and skills that you have attained as an engine mechanic to start your own business. Yes, you heard it right. Start your own business such as shop, car repair shop, automotive shop or anything that is related to your skills of being an engine mechanic. Pretty cool, right? That's it. So now let's talk about the main focus of BSMT and BSMRE. On the BSMRE perspective, its main focus is engine watch keeping. Yes, you have to keep watch of the engine department. It involves repair, and take note of this forecasting and maintaining the condition of a system you have to take a good look of its parameters for example temperature pressure fuel viscosity tank levels and such you have to make sure that the system is in good condition as the ship sail from one port to another another thing Seafarer prioritize the safety of the ship, not just the ship, but also its crew, cargo, and the environment. So that's pretty much it. Let's hear more about in the deck perspective. What are the main focus of BSMT? 
BSMP's main focus is for you as a student to learn and study about navigation, the safe operation of the cargoes, the passengers, and etc. And then as well as controlling it or maintaining it. And then there's also this um, cargo handling and stowage and such. What are the main subjects of BSMP? I'll just give an overview. First one is navigation, followed by seamanship, deck watch keeping, maritime law, maritime communication, meteorology, um, the usage of ARPA radar, ECDIS, and etc. For example, in navigation, there's this terrestrial navigation and celestial navigation and such. The subject involved in BSMRE is one, thermodynamics, second, is industrial chem and ferrology, marine electricity and electrical maintenance, auxiliary machinery, power plant steam and diesel, propulsion ancillary system and gas turbine, protection of the marine environment, maritime law, and also some subjects related to the deck department, which is also very important. Traits that an engine cadet must have is first discipline. Yes, for me, discipline can make our lives effective and our tasks efficient. Next is good character and commitment. You have to be fully committed on what you do, especially if it involves your career. This can guarantee your success. In a more technical aspect, let me quote a phrase that is said by our senior officer. He said, and I quote, you have to take note of the system know-how. Which means, as early as it is and as much as you can, you have to be familiarized of the system, its theories, and application. This can make it easier to understand the different systems when you start working on board. What are the quality traits that a BSMT student must have? I think the most important quality traits that a student must have, especially a BSMT one, is first, being assertive. Second is being able to lead. And then third is the ability to cooperate with others. First one is being assertive. Yes, it is included. Because when you are assertive, it means that you are curious. You are curious because you want to learn. And then, if you want to learn, that means you are dedicated in what you are learning. And dedication means or equates with the attainment of your goal and how serious you are to it. Second is being able to lead. If you want to know more about the specific traits of being a capable leader, you can check out the other videos that I have made just for that. But I'll give you a short explanation to why this is also important. If you know how to lead, you know how to motivate others to be productive towards a goal that you want to achieve. And lastly is the ability to cooperate with others. You need to be cooperative towards others for you to produce a work that is excellent or almost flawless because teamwork produces a better work. Is BSMT a difficult course? I would say yes, it is a difficult course considering that I'm still a student and what more on board ship, right? But if you have the willingness to be in that rough path, you will be able to attain the goal that you want to have for yourself. Plus, if you have good friends who have the same challenges that you are facing, it's something that lessens the hard um, feeling that you have because you have them. You share the same feelings and you are going all together with that kind of path that you are in. And of course, if you become successful, all of you can celebrate it. On the BS Mari perspective, I totally agree with that. Any course can be difficult to anyone. This can give you a real challenge. This is why you have to be fully committed to the course that you will decide to take. And you also have to enjoy. This could make your course a bit less difficult than it is. Which is a better course, BSMT or BSMRE? I don't think BSMT is way better or BSMRE is way much better. 
because it all depends upon the qualities of a person. For example, if that person knows how to deal with machineries, then he or she can choose to have the BS Mari. And then if the person has, you know, a good leadership skills, he or she can choose BS MP. Either way, it makes sense, right? In fact, there's a lot more common in BSMP and BSMRE, such as applying science and technology, mathematics to every situation that is related to the profession. Yes, math exists in this profession, whether you are BSMP or BSMRE. Don't believe in others saying that there is no math in maritime profession because it is way more complicated than that. Believe me, it is way more complicated. Plus, you must be able to know how to solve problems that are related in your profession and workplace. So, Miss Indigo said something about math. And oh, I agree with that. BSMT or BS Mari, it both does have math and it is way more complicated than it is. So with regards to this, I just want to say that every student have different perspective and preference. Like why I chose BS Mari and why Miss Indigo chose BSMT. Choosing your course is like, it's just the same as choosing your career path, which is why it should be based entirely on your own preferences and how you see yourself in the future not because anyone tells you to or because it doesn't have math because it does it really does so to answer this question nothing is better than anything just listen to what you want and choose what you prefer that would be better so that's it i would like to thank valerie for being part of this content and for sharing her knowledge about the bs more e Oh, that's the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you Joyce for having me on your video and thank you for listening and I hope you gained a lot or a bit of information from this and whatever question that brought you here, I hope you find answers in it. So thank you and we hope to see you on the next episode of Joy She Knows. Bye! Bye.